Hello everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hampker here with you, still at the Alamo Draft House in Austin, Texas at Fantastic Fest. Last night was opening night and we saw Halloween 2018, directed by David Gordon Green, written by Danny McBride and Danny, uh, David Gordon Green, which is really cool, uh, and starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, yeah, this movie was great. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I didn't have much expectations because uh, I'm honestly not a huge fan of Pineapple Express, but this one really killed. It was nice, fast-paced. It had a good story. It kind of was a direct sequel to the original Halloween, uh, which means none of the other movies kind of exist in that universe. What they did was they took the Laurie Strode character and just told you what her life had been since the original movie. And it dealt with sort of generational issues with her daughter, with her granddaughter, and, you know, survival and and how to you know, deal with a traumatic situation, which is all really cool. Plus, the, the, the deaths were all great, which is a weird thing to say, but they were. Um, and it, it just was a lot of fun. Um, John Carpenter did the music, which the music is just that iconic music, which was great. Uh, I only had a couple of problems with it. There's a, sort of a small, close to the third act, kind of twist storyline thing that happened that I didn't quite like that, but uh, it's very minor. It's only a moment, and they sort of correct it in a few minutes later, and so I was like, yeah, all right, it, you, you, you redeemed yourself. Um, plus, there's a decision they make, which I probably wouldn't have made. I would have tried to show as much as possible, but a lot of the really cool... There was... A, uh, the, it had the Godzilla effect, which, you know, they... they well, this most recent Godzilla movie, which means they sort of show you a, a glimpse of what might be happening and what's going to happen, and they cut away, and then they show you the after aftermath. And that's kind of what this does. This movie has a lot of cool deaths, like I said, but it also uh, has a lot happen off screen. They show you the aftermath. They show you uh, just the grisly thing that happened, and you're like, I would have liked to have seen that happen. That looks really strange and interesting and gross and cool. Um, but uh, other than that, really good entry into this. I think it's one of the best Halloween movies, to be honest with you, and it, it, the last 30 minutes are amazing. So, big recommend. Uh, check it out. It's really awesome, and uh, have a drink on me. Thanks for joining me here at Fantastic Fest. More to come. Bye-bye.